You guys seem to know each other. We have a boy at home. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you ready for boarding, guys? Oh, uh, we were born ready. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Your captain. I'd like to wish you a nice day and thank you for your trust in us. So, guys. Ich hab ah! 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 All right, hey, Patrick, great to meet you. Great to meet you, too. Before making 7500, did you know anything about aviation? Um, not really. I, you know, I, I was very interested in flying or like in becoming a pilot until I was like six or seven when I was a little child. You know, I, and then I gave up this, this dream. And, um, you know, it, it reminded me a lot when I started working on the film my earliest dreams or my earliest dream jobs. So you know what I like about your film is that it all takes place in that one location. So what was, uh, so, what was so easy and what was so hard about in that one, in this arc film of yours? It is, um, you know, the hard part was of course the writing process to like create tension and to create a total uh, story just in uh, one place and you kind of um, exit this place. Um, you know, it took me quite a while to figure that all out. During shooting, it was, um, you know, it was very intense because of the processes. You know, there's like, you know, not every department can just go singly uh, alone there inside of the cockpit. And um, so there was a lot, we lost a lot of time, of course, because, um, you know, we cannot work at the same time there. And, um, you know, and just having like one space, you know, it, it creates some or like it, it has challenges to make to make it look all the time like still, um, you know, interesting and not like boring after 10, 20 minutes when you see the location over and over again. So I think these were the biggest challenges of that. Yeah. One of my questions, these are technical questions. Um, what mm -hmm. cameras like did you use for the security versions of your film oh we we did just like uh like some 5ds or something um and afterwards in, in pulse pro we put on in after effects like a lot of like layers on it to to create this um this look at the beginning uh oh you mean the security cameras inside uh at the all beginning? of them outside outside the cabin yeah outside the cabin was a 5d2 and we you know, we put this video signal into the, um, into the, on, on the monitor. It was like live. Everything that happens outside, you know, um, was like live. It was not put in there later. Um, so they could, like Joseph could act with the people outside through this camera. You know, that was something I really wanted. So he can really feel this, like, this danger of coming from outside. How did you get Joseph and why, why Joseph? <laughs> um, you know, when I started working on that, um, I didn't finish film school yet. I, I just wrote and I never imagined to have someone like him on board. You know, then um, I made the short film and we got an Academy Award nomination for it. And after that, a lot of people came to me like, what's your next project? Do you think you want to do it with an English language cast? And I was like, no, it's, it's based on a German story, but I can, you know, um, I, I would really like to have someone like Joseph inside, you know, having him as lead because, you know, he has, he has this quality. Um, he's on one side, of course, a movie star, but he has this everyday man quality, you know, that's, that's very hard um, to get like from someone who's um, as well known as him. So um, he was a perfect match for like this very ordinary pilot he, he plays. And he's a great actor with a huge uh, emotional range. So and then as this came together, like, um, you know, I said like, okay, of course I can imagine to, to make this film like English language. And then we started to, um, yeah, to, to try. You call the film 7500, which is of course a code for the tell the tower that you're being mm -hmm. hijacked, but that's pretty, I think it was really risky of you to call it 7500. Because 99% of people do not know what that means. But you after you watch the film, you do. You, you mean it's risky when the people like, um, 
look at that and say, oh, what is that? Or it's like risky to, to put the security code in the title. No, no, it's risky to call it that, I think. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know, it was the first, we, we, we talked a lot about like, what will the name of the film um, will be? But I always like that it raises a question like, what is that? Um, why is this, um, and what does these numbers mean? You know, it always kind of like puts a question inside of your head, like, and you tr maybe you try to like, get to know what the answer is. Um, so I like that it creates a little suspense um, and I like the combination. And I think it's, a, it's the best title for the film because it combines everything of that. Well, I think you just educated everybody what code 7500 means, <laughs> right? You know, it was, it was pretty, you know, it was on Wikipedia. So everybody who wanted to know could know that. And yeah. And it's also, I did some, I Googled the, the title it's also, it was also a, a flight, like a bad, a crash or something. There was a flight 7500 that went I know, down. I know. I, I, I watched that film, you know, and uh, I read one article where they're like, oh, this is a bad combination when you Google it. But at the moment we are like, when you, when you put a 7500 seven, in there, we came first, we come first now. So it's fine. Have you ever had any um, bad flight experiences, commercial wise or private? I never had. Luckily, I never had like I never had huge turbulences. I never had emergency landing stuff. Um, luckily, you know our pilot who plays the Michael character. He's a he's an airline. He was an airline pilot for like twenty five years, um, and um, you know he even he he told me that he never had like really dangerous situation over twenty five years of flight. Uh, what else I was going to ask you? Did you guys shoot in an actual, I mean, I, I want to just see, I want to know for me, did you shoot mm -hmm. in an actual airplane or an airplane set like a... No, we shot, you know, we, we bought an airplane. Like we bought an airplane, like we bought the, the cockpit and we bought the galley, what's the kitchen and we bought like the first eight rows. We got that from a company who built, uh, who builds like um, for security training reason, rebuilds like uh, original airplane or buys original airplanes and rebuilds it. and. They had one and we bought it and we um, we rebuilt it. So um, the space, we just made it a little bit bigger, a little like 25 centimeters longer so we can have a little bit more space. But the rest is the original size and all the instruments um, we bought from rather some original instruments or some like from flight and um, uh, simulators who are very like accurate. So, no, it's uh, original space uh, Airbus. Okay, so it is an Airbus. Okay. Airbus. I was looking at the controls. It's hard to see the controls and I was, if it's Airbus or Boeing. No, you know, the, 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 the uh, difference between Airbus and Boeing is like the, the Airbus um, has like this joystick on the right. Uh -huh. And the Boeing, the Boeing has a joystick in the middle. And because Joseph has to stand up a lot, you know, I really want to have an Airbus. Uh, so he don't have to, you know, there's no problem with this thing between his, his uh, knees. Yeah, yeah. So um, what's been the reception so far with your film? The reception? Um, you know, I hear very positive things. You know, a lot of people sing uh, that it's, very, it's a very intense ride, you know. I hear from people who are like disappointed that they expect, expect more like an action film, you know, and I didn't want it to make and just an action film. There's like a little bit more to it. And you know, that we don't lose, uh, that we don't go outside and that we just stay in this one cockpit, you know, yeah. um, gives it a different um, experience as something that is, you know, not that common, so. Yeah, you know, one of my notes that I made about the film is that I actually love the way it 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 holds you. It 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 grab it's 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 got a hold of you the whole time when I'm watching it. Mm -hmm. so it doesn't bother me that we don't leave the cockpit because that's where it all took you know it all took place there. So yeah. and the dynamic with the wife and the co-pilot and and you know all the dynamics of trying to be friends. So I th I think it was really well done. By the way, I had fun Thank watching it. Thank you very much. And I love aviation, so I, it's these things. <laughs> That could happen, it did happen, you know, so it's pretty tough.
that was the that was the idea like how would an um how would a like a terrorist attack or when something happens to that how how would it like play out in real life you know how would like so that's why we created like characters who just show to the outside what they would show to the outside and doesn't explain didn't i didn't want to explain a lot i didn't want to give obvious answers like why why they are doing that i try to leave that somewhere else more raising questions you know and in the end I, you know when we are down at the, at the at the ground you know i wanted to make it more about like what would you do when someone did something to to you something like that to you like this would you take revenge you know would you take the knife um would you maybe kill someone and taking revenge or do you or do you not do that you know i like that about that that there's like this kind of uh, you can call it like breaking this kind of circle of violence you know that's why i put the gandhi quote in, in front you know to to highlight that a little bit more between all the action between all the thrill all that you know to tell a little bit more about that okay yeah my last thing i wanted to say is uh right i was like you gotta kill him you can't tie some terrorist up and let him live you gotta he was gonna kill you so you have to kill him then he comes back to get you you know so that's why you gotta that's why you have to kill the terrorist <laughs> yeah you, you know i, I think um, it's easy to say well, like in a movie but when you're reading this situation and i wanted to create a character who never been like when when he kicks him the first time there's this moment of like Sh shit what, what what should i do i never kicked someone in the face and i never hit someone and i never like i wanted to create a character who's like not a normal like you have to do that you have to do this or to to, to kill someone you know um so i was really going for like okay it's really hard to to do that so um yeah that was my intention there why well, it's not human. staying human right, patrick great job i really enjoyed it i'm gonna recommend it it gets the fab tv approval okay thank you <laughs> and great speaking with you great speaking with you have a good and, day and good nabin or good talk if you're in germany or yeah okay yeah, but, yeah, we're in Austria, so it's a good Abend here. Okay, good Abend. Yeah. You guys seem to know each other. We have a boy at home. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you ready for boarding, guys? Uh, we were born ready. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Your captain. I'd like to wish you a nice day and thank you for your trust in us. So, guys. Ich hab ah! 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 What's your emergency? We have a 7500. Open the door! Several men attacked our cockpit. We stopped them for now. The captain is injured. Status of the crew, I don't know. They have a hostage. They're going to kill him if I don't open the door. Anyone other guy to die? Don't stop, please. I can't open the door. Let her go. Please. Please, I beg. Please. They don't have guns. They don't have knives. If you work together, you can beat them. Okay, you gotta be alright. Ah!